Welcome back to this guy's garage. Just buttoning up the exhaust on the Project Mustang here. We put a clutch and pressure plate in it. Hindsight being 2020, I'm going to show you the easiest way to get this clutch in and out coming up. Hit it! <laughs> Thankfully for us, the exhaust was cut right here. It had a clamp on it. I just put some silicone on it to tighten it back up. But there's only two plugs on the transmission. Two, two plugs for the O2 sensors. You have to remove them O2 sensors to get the transmission out of this car. There's six bolts on the bell housing. But before you take the transmission mount out, you want to go up top and loosen the top bolts with a wrench before this transmission drops down in the back. Once the transmission drops down in the back and you got the bolts loosened on the bell housing, you'll be able to knock them out with an impact with three or four long extensions and you get your six bolts out. With the O2 sensors out, the transmission will come right out. All right, let's go up top. All right, so before you drop your transmission mount, you want to get get your hand down here and get your upper bell housing bolts because after you drop your transmission bolt tra after you drop your transmission mount the engine's going to lean back which will allow you to be able to take the bolts out with your impact but you have to get them started first because when you got three or four in three or four uh, extensions as we have here it takes all the torque out of your impact it, it won't break the bolt you're going to have to break that by hand and you're going to have to get your hand down there in between the engine and the firewall get them broke with a wrench then you'll be set the jet so when you you're taking the bell housing out you have one two three four five and six up here, six bolts holding your bell housing in. So, pay close attention when you take the pressure plate off because your clutch is going to fall off too. Try to take it out together and make sure you put it back in the same way it came out because the, the clutch itself can only go in one way. If you put it in the wrong way, it'll be locked up. Another thing, to get this transmission out without removing the exhaust, you're gonna need to re remove your two O2 sensors. Just put your starter up to the side there, tie it in. Cutting the line with a set of side cutters will allow you to get underneath and get this apart, get, will allow you to get the lock apart because you have no room to work. So this will allow you to deal with, so cutting this off will allow you to deal with underneath the car with the transmission of the way. So when you're taking this transmission out, there's a transmission cross member and your dry shaft, that's what's at the back. Uh, you can get at the shift bracket at the top. Just three bolts holding that in place. And, and right here, there's no room to get at this to take it apart. Here's your clip here that you remove. So you pull that out and then you pull out your hydraulic line so pull this out this is your clip put that in a safe spot right there 
The reason why you want to be so careful with this, this whole line is plastic except for the end piece here. And it's metal that goes in and if any little bit of rust or anything gets in there, you have a high probability of breaking this off. And then you're going to be replacing the whole slave cylinder, which is going to be another 300 bucks. While you have it off, make sure your bleeder moves. This is a self-bleeding system, but make sure your bleeder moves. And so cutting that hydraulic line in front of the plastic here will allow you to move this back and forth. You can gently take the line out like so. See the rust builds up in there. And if you try to get that apart, chances of breaking it are high. So this will save you 300 bucks. Tips like this is why you should hit the subscribe button. It'll be right around here at the end. Installing your slave is relatively simple. Now I'm not showing you every nut and bolt coming at this because if I think if you need a video showing you every nut and bolt taken out, you probably shouldn't tackle a job. This is not an easy job. They're only 10 millimeter bolts, so don't over tighten them. Next thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna do a little in car little in-car flywheel surfacing make sure you put the clutch on the flywheel this is the engine side the flush side all right do this one-handed want to hold pressure on that so it stays steady stays centered this is your alignment tool all right before you slide that transmission in you're gonna to want to sacrifice a bolt screw it in there because that flex plate chim will fall out and this will help you line everything up all right I'm gonna we're gonna put this transmission in Ugh. Now, first thing you need to find is, where's the reservoir? Well, that's shared with your, your brake master cylinder. The trick to this is patience. Now, this, the 2005 Mustang actually has a bleeder on the end of the slave cylinder itself. But it's really, it's unnecessary. You just need some patience. So, make sure your fluid is topped off. Press your clutch in and out at least 25 times. Walk away for an hour. Come back, press that clutch in and out again. Full travel, 25 times. Leave it for an hour. Come back. By that time, the air should have traveled and made its way back up into the master cylinder reservoir. And by this time, you should have a pretty solid clutch. So, repeat repeat that procedure again if that doesn't work leave it sit overnight if you do have to manually bleed the clutch let me show you where the bleeder's at okay see here this is your bleeder cap so you're gonna have to take that off and there's your bleeder nut right be below it right there so if you have a vacuum bleeder 
you can just open that vacuum bleeder pull some fluid through once you got once you got the air out of the lines you're good to go if you don't have a vacuum bleeder you have to have somebody in the car press on the clutch you open that bleeder and you close it then have the person release the clutch Press on the clutch again, open the bleeder until you get clear fluid running out. Clear as mud. Ugh. Test drive. How's that clutch feel now? Oh, it's way softer. A lot more touch here. Yeah, well. <laughs> Test drive in Mexico. Well, it's a little bit of a snowstorm, but a good day to test on that clutch. All right, hit it. If this video helped get you moving, you can hit that subscribe button. It'll be right there. You can watch another video right around here. This guy out.